In this video, we'll go over 20 true or false statements about things in WoW. There will be three stages of difficulty. First five questions will be easy, the next ten questions will be of medium difficulty, and then the last five questions will be hard. Then there will be a grading scale at the end of the video to see how well you did. Now let's get started. The Bastion of Twilight is located in the zone of the Twilight Highlands. Fact. This raid is in fact located in a zone that shares part of its name. The world of Azeroth is actually flat. Crap. Despite the fact that the game world is probably flat, in lore it is most certainly round, as we've even seen it from space. All zombie dragons in WoW are straight up immune to magic. Crap. But traditional zombie dragons in fantasy are somewhat immune to magic, and that's why Sindragosa has an anti-magic mechanic on her fight. The name of Tyrion's sword, which was powerful enough to turn undead into ash, was known as the Lightbringer. Crap. Its actual name is the Ashbringer, and is one of the most famous swords in game. Azeroth actually has two moons instead of one. Fact. The world of Azeroth has two moons. They are called the White Lady and the Blue Child. And now we'll go on to the medium level questions. There will be ten questions in this part. None of them should be too difficult. Drakithas Brand was required for a character to be attuned to Blackwing Lair. Fact. Obtaining the brand was the last thing players needed to do to attune to Blackwing Lair, and then afterwards, players could click on the Orb of Command in order to teleport to Blackwing Lair. The demon pit lord named Nerzul was the ruler of Outland before being imprisoned by Illidan Stormrage. Crap. The pit lord's name was actually Magtheridon and is used as a boss fight in the Burning Crusade. Nerzul is a completely different guy, and is most famous for being part of the Lich King. Including thumbs, gnomes have four fingers on each hand. Fact. Most races in WoW have normally five fingers, but gnomes do not though. I also think Torrens only have three fingers, so they have the least amount of fingers out of all the races. This epic staff from Vanilla WoW has the ability to shift into two forms. One of its forms is called Benediction. The name of its other form is Rock Delar. Crap. Its other form is called Anathema. Rock Delar is a famous hunter bow from Vanilla, and Benediction being able to transform into Anathema was a very famous staff in Vanilla WoW. Also, apologies if I'm getting any of these names incorrect. I'm no pronunciation expert. The zone in which the abomination known as Stitches is located is called the Tirasfall Glades. Crap. Stitches is actually located in the Duskwood, in both Vanilla WoW and the live version of the game. Getting reputation with the Klaxi faction is needed to obtain the Amber Scorpion mount. Fact. Getting exalted reputations with the Klaxi allows you to purchase the Amber Scorpion mount. The maximum number of total players that can enter an arena is five. Crap. The maximum number of players allowed in an arena is six, as during a 3v3 arena match, 
there will be six players total in the arena. There used to be a 5v5 arena mode, but even then that would have meant 10 players in the arena at once. Dalaran was originally located in the Hillsbrad foothills, before being moved to Northrend and then the Broken Shore. Fact: The Dalaran Crater is still located in the Hillsbrad foothills, and is a location that mages can teleport to. Players do not have access to the baseline stat of Mastery until hitting exactly level 80. Crap! It was changed to level 78 in Legion. Mastery is the only baseline stat that you don't unlock until higher levels. It's kind of weird that it's still this way after so many years though. The name of the dungeon, in which players travel back in time over 10,000 years to confront Queen Ajara and Manoroth, is known as the War of the Ancients. Crap, it's actually called the Well of Eternity. Although, the war which takes place in that instance is called the War of the Ancients, and the dungeon is even referred to it as the War of the Ancients in the game's files, even though the dungeon is officially named the Well of Eternity. And now, onto the five hard questions. Remember, if you get all five of these correct, you get one bonus point at the end. The following three are all first names of the Bronzebeard brothers, and those are Bran, Magni, and Mirrodin. Fact, that is indeed the name of all of the Bronzebeards, and all of them are important lore characters. So these brothers are all famous. At Vol'jin's funeral in Legion, there is an uninvited guest who is hidden behind some rocks. The name of this individual is Tirithin Court. Fact: This is a little easter egg for people who read the book Shadows of the Horde. In the book, Vol'jin is taken in by the Shadowpan and trained in some of the monk ways alongside a human hunter named Tirith and Court, while recovering from being poisoned by Garrosh's men. A lot of stuff happens and they become best friends, despite how much their sides hate each other, and made a promise that if one day one of them were to ever die, the other would kill the person who killed them. The following three are the names of the three capture points in the battle for Gilneas Battleground, and those are the Mines, Lighthouse, and Waterworks. Fact: The Battle for Gilneas probably has the least amount of capture points of all the battlegrounds that have capture points. Players could obtain a hefty amount of legendaries in Vanilla WoW, excluding quest item stackables and the necklace legendary. The amount of legendaries players could obtain in Vanilla WoW was exactly 6, and this number does include all four versions of the ATS staff. Fact: Thunder Fury and Sulphurus are the other two legendary weapons plus the four ATS stats, for a total of six legendary weapons that could be obtained by players. The longest a boss has gone unkilled since players were first able to attempt killing that boss was not C'Thun, but was actually Oro, a worm boss in the same raid. Fact. C'Thun went down 86 days after the death of the Twin Emperors, and Oro went down 87 days after the death of the Twin Emperors. The reason Oro went down later was because it was a side boss full of bugs that made it almost unkillable, and it was less of a priority than killing C'Thun. Alright, and that's the end of the quiz. I'll have a grading scale on screen. 
And if you got all five of the hard questions correct, go ahead and give yourself one bonus point. So if you got 18 or more points, you are a World of Warcraft expert. 